So this will be the, the first talk of the last part of the Lightning Talks, uh, which is by Eric Albers about uh, Free Your Android. So I'm just going to set our magical kitchen timer device to 15 minutes, and then uh, the floor is all yours. Okay, thank you very much. Um, yeah, I'm Eric, I work for the Free Software Foundation Europe. You can see my contact details here on the slide. Email address and identical account and my blog and so on. I'm talking about phone liberation parties today. They are part of our Free Your Android campaign. And um, so I'm going to tell you what the campaign is about and then what a phone liberation party is like. Now my thing does not work. Ah, I'm doing the wrong direction. Now here, okay. So um, I think all of you know what is this. This is um, the Android, which is an operating system for mobile devices based on the Linux kernel, uh, mainly developed by Google. It's licensed as free software. Um, so why is the Free Software Foundation Europe doing a free or Android campaign? because we do not just care about the technical side on free software, but also about the user side. So we care about user's freedom, and we have some <coughs> critics about it. Here is, um, if, I'm going, if I'm buying an Android today, uh, and I started for the first time, it looks like this. So they are trying to tie me to a Google account to have full control of my device, which is a bad thing for your freedom. So you're tied to, to a service provider. Then um, if you buy an Android today, they can, um, often come with proprietary, proprietary apps inside. Maybe sometimes you also cannot deinstall them. You are blind to the software you're using, which is um, bad for your freedom. And if you like to use another operating system because you want to get rid of um, the proprietary software and um, the use of a Google account, you have to unlock your bootloader. And it's also what uh, many providers don't want you to do. Um, here is an example of such an agreement you have to sign before you unlock the bootloader. And it says, um, once you unlock the device, you may not sell the device, uh, which is... Um, very bad for your freedom. I mean, you lose the right to sell your device. And they also, um, it's also written once uh, you get the unlock code, your device is no longer covered by the warranty. They claim you to void your warranty if you do so. <coughs> so this is a vendor login here. I don't know if you know Secure Boot. Um, Secure Boot is a thing coming for um, the Wafi system. And it's a real threat to free software because. Um, it tries to hinder you to install Linux operating system on computers. This is exactly the point where we are right now in the mobile device world. They don't want you to use the software you want to use. So this is exactly the point where our campaign starts. This is a screenshot of our campaign page here, and you see the URL down there, free or android.org, because um, we want operating systems where you are free to decide which in software you like to install, you are free to deinstall software you don't want to use. You are free to uh, install any operating system, and you have no vendor login. Here are free alternative systems that are Android-based. They are um, both are free. The improvement in Replicant. They are also using free drivers. Unfortunately, it's not available for so many phones. So CyanogenMod Mod is an alternative. For this, um, these operating systems are Android-based, and um, but without all these um, dependencies to a Google account uh, you have with the Android system. Having a free system is one thing. The other thing is if you have a mobile device, you want to use apps. Here is where AppDroid comes in, which is a free software app repository. So you can install it like an application, and out of it you can get more and more applications for all your daily use, emailing, calendar, remote storage, um, and so on and so on. Navigation. All, all these apps you get in AppDroid are free apps, are free software. And um, so together with a free operating system and the AppDroid, 
you can set up a, a whole free software environment. So this is uh, the first thing what you can do. I expect you to have a technical background. Maybe many of you are also coders and developers. Please help us to improve the free software world. Um, we, there are already many applications available for the things to do, like emailing and stuff, but they can be improved. They are all looking for guys helping them. and uh, Or also there's many free software out there <coughs> which is not yet packaged for the F-Droid system. They are available, for example, in Google Play, but therefore you need a Google account to download it. Help them to package it for the F-Droid system that is also available for free for everybody to use. Then um, I came here to talk about phone liberation parties, which is part of the campaign. Um, what is a phone liberation party? This is an example. This is from Juliana on Software Freedom Day. Phone liberation parties are like uh, the GNU Linux installation parties in the good old days. We, it's a public event where people can come, bring their device, and where other people and help them to free their devices, to set up, to unlock the bootloader, to set up another operating system, a free alternative, and uh, they find help. Why do we do this? We do this first because um, depending on the device, sometimes it's far from easy to do all these things, to unlock the bootloader and to install another operating system in the custom ROM. So it's help for the users because they Often they don't like to use the Google account, for example, but they fear to unlock the bootloader or they just don't know how to do it. They can come, they find help. Then the uh, second thing is um, you ra we raise awareness by this. Here's a picture from the conference in Bolzano. So we also go to conferences, do phone liberation parties. There, people pass by, they ask, oh, what are you doing? Uh, what is the phone liberation party? Uh, is there free software in the mobile world? And so on. So we bring the mountain to Mohammed and we spread the word uh, where the users are by doing these public events. And um, finally, of course, to spread free software in the mobile world. The mobile world, if you like or not, will most probably be the future. The children growing up today, when they are youth, they are used to, to use uh, mobile devices and they will maybe think that a desktop is from the last century and they are used to these clicky things in their hands doing everything they want to do. So to reach them, this is uh, crucial today that we spread the idea that uh, that there is free software and what is free software and what freedoms you can achieve by using free software in the mobile world, on mobile devices. So, um, yeah, we want to see plopping up such phone liberation parties all across Europe, but um, we are also, we are vo volunteers, so of course we cannot travel through whole Europe and do these phone installation parties. And this is exactly the point where you come in, where you can engage and where you can um, do something. I want you to do such phone liberation parties at home. Maybe you are organized in a hackerspace or something or in any organization or you have some friends that can help you. You can do such phone liberation parties. And um, how to do it? Of course, you should announce it publicly by any means of communication, email list, homepage, um, your local newspaper, whatever. Announce that you're doing a phone liberation party. And um, we, from our experience, it's good if you do some form of free regis registration because, uh, unfortunately, it's not possible with all the mobile devices out there. So it's better if people register and say, OK, I, I want to come with this and this mobile device. And then you can just reply. Sometimes you have to reply, OK, feeling very sorry, but I cannot, we cannot um, do something with this phone. But most of the times, then you say, OK, feel welcome, pass by, bring your device, bring a laptop, make a backup before, and then we will help you to uh, achieve freedom. Uh, we can help you if you 
if you are interested in doing this, we can help you. We um, we have a we have, of course, experience. You can ask us how to do it. But we also have templates for invitations. Uh, we have promotion material. I can show you here to uh, announce your event. We have flyers for the campaign. We also have posters here. Let me show you. You can use them to announce your event. You can, you can just stick uh, the location and the date on it. Doing these phone liberation parties is quite fun. Uh, this is how an attendee should look like after a phone liberation party, after liberating his phone. You can make people very happy by helping them to free their phone. So, um, even if I repeat myself now, what you can do, of course, is use free software and uh, spread the word about this campaign, spread the word that there is free software available. What are disadvantages from the Android system and how you can achieve more freedom with other operating systems. Here's again the, the campaign page for your android.org where you find information. Now you find information how to do it on your own, how to free your phone. In future, there will also be a portal for promoting these phone liberation parties. So if you do a phone liberation party, we can promote it in the portal there. We can cooperate. There's also the uh, list from the Free Software Foundation Europe for uh, everything related to the Android and freeing Android things, which is android at list.fsfe.org. And uh, yeah, so. Thank you for listening, and uh, I I hope now you are thinking about how can I, or when do I organize a phone liberation party at my home? Sounds great. You meet in Berlin too? Uh, or? Okay, that makes it easy. As, uh, as we are in Berlin too, let's have a talk after the talk. Or, I mean, this is for everyone. If someone here is interested, please talk to me now after the talk. Or um, I am at the booth later. The FSV booth is in building. Uh, Okay, yeah, next to the stairs, uh, for sure you will find it. I will be there the whole afternoon. We can talk all the details and I can instruct you my, uh, from my experience or what you can do and show you promotion material and all stuff. We also have stickers. I forgot for, if you liberated a phone, you can put a sticker on it and so on and so on. We cannot talk all about this later at the booth or here after my talk. I mean, we have a manual on our campaign page for yourself. You can just, there is written why it's good 
uh, to achieve freedom and also how to do it where you can find um, alternative operating systems and the F droid and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but the actual doing is, uh, it depends, I mean, each device is different. So there is no general guideline how to liberate a phone. It de really depends on your phone. If you have a Nexus, for example, it's pretty easy. If you have an HTC, it's more complex. So... <coughs> yeah, in the Cern Engine Mod Wiki, you find uh, guidelines. Um, and if you even if you do not like to install Cyan Engine mod but another system, you find first half how to unlock the bootloader and then the second half is how to install Cyan Engine mod. You can skip the second part and install another system if you like. Um I think this is a good address. The wiki there, they have detailed instructions often how to liberate a, a device. So sorry? Um, depends. Uh, most people they like to install Shannon Gen Mod. I think we should have a talk later. <laughs>